Buying a storage unit can be a big mystery. What is in the boxes, the totes, the bags? Well, I recently purchased a storage pallet that had over 40 some totes, some filled with books, and as today I found out, some not filled with books, but other things. So if you like the mystery of a storage unit, if you wonder what could be in the boxes and the bags and the totes, then stay tuned today as I dig through a few more bins of my recent storage pallet purchase and see what we can find. Current situation, still have a lot of totes to look through. These all have to be opened. Books have to be scanned. See if some of these have something else besides books. Ooh, that one's pretty heavy. Maybe I'll start with this one. And what do we have? Oh. What is this? This looks, is this a mixer board? Harbinger. This is a uh, soundboard, mixer board. You have mic lines and all these little buttons. Harbinger. An M audio, a preamp. Mobile pre USB preamp. I played the trumpet in fifth grade. That was my music knowledge. Colin Davis, the complete RCA legacy. Oh my gosh. Mozart piano concertos number 23 and 24. Wow. Beethoven, Verde, Wagner. Uh, this could be a pretty good tote. Let's look this guy up. So it is a mixer. This one, pre-owned. This is an L802, no power adapter. adapter, And they have it for $50 with free shipping. So if the power adapter isn't in here, wow. Some of these 150, 30. I guess it depends on the model. But without the power adapter, you know, you take this to the flea market, then you get the questions. Does it work? I don't know. <laughs> Buy a power adapter on eBay. Let me look up this and see what that is. So I looked this up, and there are two listed. One is for $200, and the other one is for $375. It looks like one sold for a little around $200, and another one sold for $75, but it had no pictures. So this is not sealed, but... You know, stick it up there for a hundred, a hundred fifty, cheaper than what everyone else has a list of for. Hopefully, it'll sell. I mean, it's a really nice set, the complete RCA Legacy. All right, let's see. We have a Sure. Oh, headphones. Sure headphones. I have to look those up. I don't know the brand offhand. Never heard of that, but camera. Cassette to, oh, awesome. A cassette to USB converter. That is so cool. I'm sure that one of my cords will fit. How neat is that? I'll just have to look up how to use it. Oh wow, this is so neat. So you can make, put your cassettes onto USB. That's great. I'm happy about just finding that. It looks like here we have um, the sheet music, Jesus Christ Superstar, Jacques Brelis, Alive and Well and Living in Paris, Vocal Selections, Hamilton. So yes, I'll have to scan all of these as well. Definitely a musician's unit to have all the all this stuff and a lot of the books that I've come across so far have been in regards to music or poetry. So Richard Rogers collection. Oh man, too bad they didn't have Phantom of the Opera collectibles. That's my favorite. 
All right, toe number two. So we have it sealed over here and it's sealed over here. It's very heavy. I'm gonna guess books, but you never know. Maybe there's a nice instrument, violin, trumpet. Alrighty, let's see. Oh, there's a, what is, Joseph Joseph? Is that, a, oh, there's food still on it. Oh, there's makeup? Brushes? Lipstick? Oh, this one's not opened. Maybelline Gentle Makeup Remover. Wet and Wild. I should have my, gla my gloves on, but what do we think's in here? Scissors. Oral-B. Oh, that's for your toothbrush. I think it's a sanitizer. So the rest of this tote, we have more vocal scores. Again, everyone will have to be looked up. Like some magazines, collected songs, the big book of staff paper, complete ballads, impromptus, and sonatas. So yes, all Beethoven sonata, all music-related books. We opened up this bin and we definitely need the gloves because it looks like we have socks and a little stool to help you um, go to the bathroom. So we'll just put that aside. Oh, and we have your kitchen utensils. Cause that's, this is a, a mishmash. Oh, these are nice. We might have a winner here. That's a nice rug. Has a good look to it, a good color. Yeah, that's definitely flea marketable. Oh, I wonder if I could put this on my porch. That's nice. Looks like we have another rug. Yeah, these are really nice. That'll go to the flea market. Oh, it's a little trash can for your utensils, socks, a rubber mat, and socks. What kind of socks? We have some Puma socks. I could probably wash these up. I don't really know the market on used socks at the flea market though, but we can always donate them. We got a can opener. Tongs. Scissors. So we have another one that had zip ties on both sides. What could be in this one? Oh, the Velveteen Rabbit. That's a good book. Music Ophelia, Tales of Music and the Brain. Looks like a journal. Counting my blessings. Hatha Yoga Pradipika Swami. Love Lives of the Great Composers. Well, look at that one. The Natural Mind. Oh, we have a vintage kids' books. The Wee Little Man. But is it art? Oh, those cows. Huh. Well, I gotta get to scanning all these when you're dealing with books, that's what you gotta do. So as you can see, not all the totes contain books, though I'm still leaning towards the majority of them containing books. Many viewers have offered insight as to how to go about selling the books. There are other different online book platforms that are better than eBay, but for me at this point in the book game, I think eBay is the place that I will still go when I want to sell them. Now, there is a large difference between scanning a barcode and entering in a book title. I have learned that very quickly, so I almost have to do both. And then there's also a large difference in using an app on your phone versus 
being on an actual laptop or a physical computer. The search results are, are so varied. So it's just learning that whole process. Now, if I you know, were to have bought hundreds of totes, <laughs> then I think upping my game and selling books on a strictly book platform or even Amazon would be a wise choice. But for now, it's just not, I don't think I'm at that level, especially considering I could be saying the rest of the totes have all books in them and they might not, who knows? I could get more CDs, more kitchen utensils, more rugs, which actually were really nice. So we did come away with a few different items. We had the sound mixer, we had the CD collection, which I, I might be able to get my money back just in selling that. It looks to be in good, good shape. Um, no CDs are scratched, no CDs are missing, so that's a plus. We also had the tote of socks and kitchenware. Uh, so what will be in the others, I don't know. In regards to the book genres, we kind of have an array, but a lot of them are music focused, whether it is history of music, um, vocal scores, um, books about Broadway, I'm hoping perhaps there is a tote of vintage playbills. Wouldn't that be something? Or maybe there could be, you know, a tote of collectibles from The Phantom of the Opera, my favorite Broadway musical. Love that one. Who knows? You know, it is it is a mystery, but I'm definitely having a good learning experience in the world of books. Those that are professional booksellers and book scanners are probably pulling your hair out. <laughs> <laughs> at what I'm doing but hey you know you have achieved that level of book greatness and I you know I can only aspire uh, to be able to look at a book and know immediately what it could or could not sell for if these were more vintage or antique books I would that would be amazing you know to buy an antique book collection and maybe just maybe there's a Gutenberg in there. If I would find a Gutenberg, a page of the Gutenberg in a storage unit, that would be probably the best storage unit find ever. <laughs> so yeah, I, I still have work ahead of me. Still a lot of looking through the totes, book scanning. Not sure how much more I will record. You know, it, it's not, it doesn't make for great content as one viewer nicely put it. You know, I mean, here's a book, scan type in the title. Okay, it's worth two bucks. To the flea market you go. So I don't know how much more I'll be recording for that. Other viewers have also mentioned donating to libraries and then many towns have the little libraries that people set up in their yard. And that's another great idea. So the books that look interesting, perhaps some fiction books or even nonfiction books I can take and deposit in some of those little libraries. I'm sure many people would love to read about you know, the history of music, um, the history of Broadway, etc. So I'll have to take a look into doing that. But it's back to the grind. Gotta get these totes out of Taco Stack's warehouse. Yeah, I feel really bad storing them there, but he said it was okay. He helped me move them. And I think he also likes going through some of the totes himself and seeing what could be in there. <laughs> so a big thanks to him for all of his help as well. But yeah, that's that's an update on this storage pallet buy. It was an exciting buy. I'm still excited about it. Still excited to see what else could be in these totes because you just never know. Well, that wraps it up for this storage pallet buy. Still a lot of work for me to do, but I think it's still it's going to be fun. I the whole mystery of opening the box up and have no idea what could be in there. That gets you every time. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and I will see you all for the next adventure here at Paper and Moose.